What up everyone, Epic Daffodil here with my very first video on my brand new channel. Today we are playing Lake, it's a free game on Amazon Games, it's supposed to be a chill, vibey type of game which I'm so down for right now. Uh, hope you all enjoy, if you do, please like, comment what would you like me to play next, and obviously subscribe for more content, let's get right into it. Okay, we're starting. Funny how a program designed to help organize your life is the reason why I can't be at the Labor Day party. I'm just gonna read out the caption so it's easier. If you guys don't like me reading it, that's fine. But I'm glad we made the deadline. If you guys don't like me reading it, just say in the comments below. And I'm glad I can now spend two stress-free weeks in good old Providence Oaks. Okay, 1986. That's where we are right now. Okay. Ooh, phone call. Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great, and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well. I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow morning. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah. But, uh, do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith. Have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Okay. So Steve is the boss man. And it looks like he doesn't like us going on vacation. But Meredith is going to do her own thing. Providence owes Thanks Oregon. Thanks so much for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right, then. Get ready to roll. Oh, okay, so we're a mail person. Okay. Now, personally, I never delivered mail before. Oh, the music fire. Okay. Okay. I, I so far I think this game's gonna be a chill vibe game, which I love right now. This lake. It's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, so what do we gotta do? Do we gotta do something okay, right now? Sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park. With mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. Got you. Seems easy enough. Okay, look at us. Stun on these. Deliver mail. Ooh, interesting. To look around. Ooh, look at the scenery on them. Damn, it looks gorgeous. Okay. Nothing too difficult, right? Nah, that's your light work. I able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I, left I went to MIT too. What are you talking about? Ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Got you. Seems easy enough. Do I have to look for it? Oh, please don't tell me to look for it. That seems like a mission. Ah, okay. What on earth did these folks order? Walk to the front of the house, bless. Yeah, Meredith got back in it. Crazy. 
Oh, they ring the doorbell too? Nope. No answer. Ah, we just dropped the baggies then. Yeah, fair. If anyone rings my doorbell, I ain't answering that. So, you know, fair. Makes sense, makes sense. Still Meredith getting got the back. hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Bless, I was getting to it. Yo, Mary's gonna look kind of a baddie right now. Eyes on now? Ah, there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the 7 a.m.? Okay, Damn. Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. Yo, peace out, Frank. All love. Oh, it's my parents' crib. Oh, did not know that. Okay. Weiss residence, Monday afternoon. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. Facts. Florida nice. I'll call again soon. Oh, 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 one more thing. The freezer stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Love Bye. that. I love a blueberry pie. Meredith, it's Dean. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for Ad at 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Yo, this uh, Steve, man. Later. Yo, back off, fam. Wait, so is this... Is this post office job something I'm just doing for these two weeks? Is this like a temp job? What am I doing? Don't know too well, because I think this added thing was something I'm supposed to... Is my actual job? Good morning, Meredith. Oh. Ready for your first day? Of course. Oh, wait, I could choose? Oh, you know, I'm excited, bro. Good morning, Frank. Ready to Ready rock, to baby. Rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Appreciate it, oh, Big Jit. I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. Got you. Thanks, I'll probably need it. Lost? Me? Never. Lost? Me? Bon voyage. I don't know if the difference of the lines I pick actually make a difference to the game. Ooh, okay, I guess we're hopping right into it. You're about to see the most professional driving ever. Now, hopefully my driving does not matter to you. Oh crap. This place? Oh crap, where are we? We on Main Street, right? Has to be this one. Can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. Sinatra? Okay. Dating the big man. You do? It's only temporary? Ah. Uh, you do? You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. Ah. I wonder if it's going to rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Okay. I don't know where I was supposed to go with that. Bless. Alrighty. Next stop is just a simple mail type stuff. Bless, we're already here. I think I'm driving on the wrong side of the road, but who gives a fuck, to be honest. 
deliver mail? I remember this as the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Hold on, let me open the map real quick. Okay. Okay, so let's go over here because that's really far, so. Got you. Alright, maybe when, like when the game continues onward. Like I'm actually enjoying this. Oh, that's nice. Forty oh forty miles per hour? We zoom in. Uh, trust my driving low key lit. Oh, and the music low key fire? Wait, how far is this place? Hold on. Am I going like a mission right now? Also, is there a time limit? I don't see anything. I think we should be blessed. Oh, we're here anyway. I mean, it's a small town, so I think I should be blessed. Oh, we're going to Moe's Diner? Blessed. And there stands Diner. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? Ah, yeah, weird, isn't it? We're on 500 Lake Road, so let's grab that package real quick. 500 Lake Road. Wow, he got a big package. So basically, her like whole town revamped or something. Meredith Wise, as oh. I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Maureen oh, Hennessy. You, you know she getting turned on the weekends. My, oh my. Where do you think she got the last name from? Here and there, and the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right. Uh, wow, Maureen, long time no see. Wow, Maureen, long time no see. I don't know no who see. this bitch is. That's crazy. So old. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. <laughs> oh, now come here. Maureen. Tell me everything. You're a funny gal. Well, Maureen, I have work to do. But, Maureen, I do have work to do. I know you're busy, huh? Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I wait. I will not take no for an answer. I bless. I guess we gotta stay here. Coffee, coffee you know sounds what? good. I'll Thanks. be nice to her. Two coffee. Coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie. Ooh, we got a blueberry pie on him. Let's go. Every afternoon after school at one point. You know me too well. You know me too well, Maureen. I don't want to be mean. Always you know, she's have, so nice. Always will. She's so Ashley, nice to me. I can't be one mean. One blueberry pie. And Fuck Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm going to take my break now. You're a real trooper. She's definitely, Ashley's definitely squaring from the, damn! Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary, what are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? Yeah, Ashley having a tough time back there. Oh, Lord have mercy. Ashley's stressing. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Honestly! First the roof, and now this? Oh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Of course. And don't be a stranger now. Alright, so I think the way to play that was you didn't want to be completely rude, right? But like, like I obviously I had to go, but I don't want to be rude about it. And she was so nice. I can't be rude. Come on now. I think I only have like three more to do. Right, okay, so we gotta go all the way back in time. We gotta go over here. I right, bless. That's the other way back. I wonder what happens if I crash. Is there like a problem with a crash? I don't think so. Dude, look at the scenery, yo. Shit's fire. Also, I don't see any other car in the street, by the way. So, thank God, because I'm not trying to crash. Because man, I'm using both sides of the road for this one. Ah, the mighty Ambrose River. 
Alrighty, we're here. I think we only have two more stops to do, and I have oh, three more stops to do. And I think we're bust. Got a package coming up here. Which one is this again? It's one of the lake rules. Hold on, I gotta look. 200 lake. Alright, bless. I'm not, I don't want to mess it up real quick. Alright, this one. What the teddy bear looks like. Wait, did I not get it? What the fuck? There you go. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Aww. Yo, cats on cats. Damn, how many cats? Don't answer the door. Oh, oh God. Oh, look, Genevieve. A new mailman. Hello there. What's your name, then? Uh, I'm not going to try to correct her. She's old, you know? Like, let's be nice Hi, about Miss it. Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course! You're Emily's girl, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, that's my mama. This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. Twenty-two years, to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost... Oh, Two Genevieves ago. I this Genevieve thing gotta relax. Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. Psych she ass. You do. She got viper eyes. Me, you see this guy? Uh, I can't say you're the cat lady, right? I. How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins and her cats? Of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here and Thomas. I'm not trying to really know all your I cat names, yo. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes, ma'am. I think it's a toy bear. I mean, it's shaped like one and feels plushy. Someone must think you need another animal in your life. I mi that might have been bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? Oh my! I know Frank would never steal up Ah, packages. okay. So there is, there is. Ah. Uh... I apologize. Okay, so there is ways I you can go wrong in this game. Genius. Got it, got it, got it. Hmm. Well, it's probably another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Don't care. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he said. Okay, so there is ways you can go That's wrong in this game, but it, is, it doesn't seem like I can completely mess it up. Too. Like, I don't know how you can anyway, lose this game, yo. Like, I, I don't think you can actually lose this game, you feel Run me? Along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. <laughs> Alright, bless. Let's get this last packet out of the way, and hopefully it's not a hassle. Oh, did I keep you up? My bad. There's another car on the road for all the... Hi, Buzz. Did not know that. All right, so there. days. I won't even need that map. So there is a ways you can mess up, but I guess you can't mess up like way too bad. It seems like. All right. The last package. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Who am I supposed to give it to? Her? Oh, Hi there. I guess so. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Uh. I'm Meredith Weiss. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. And Frank just gave you the keys to the goose? The goose? Yes. Your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori. I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. Nice to meet and you. I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Oh, bless. 
Uh, I don't want to say little young, because that seems like an offensive thing, so... Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. Plus. My father's been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in PL than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If What's there's up? ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Plus, of course. All right. All right, I promise. Good. Perfect. All right, Did I guess I'm on her good side. Radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. Bless. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay. Thanks, Lori. I'm trying to be really no positive. Problem, w. But maybe I'll play this game and be a whole dickhead about it. Maybe I'll play the game later and be a dickhead. Oh no, don't open it, don't open it, don't open it. Cause right now I'm trying to be nice. I'm on the I'm on that old bitch's bad side right now, but I don't give a fuck to be fair. I wonder what happens if I hit someone. My intrusive thoughts are kicking in. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but the scenery, boss. It, it, obviously it's not like super high definition perfect, but honestly, I don't I don't really mind. Oh, where am I going? I, did I take the long route? No, no, I can, I can take it right here. Bless. Let me think. Where was Bear Creek again? I think this is the right way. Oh, fuck. Did I take a wrong turn? Hold up. I don't know. I'm, I'm coming up, so it should be fine. Stop for a second, I messed up for a second. I want to see what happens when I bang this truck up. Oh, right, Bear Creek, near the old lumber yard. Okay, I think this is a place. Alrighty. There's a new face. Oh. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Likewise, you, Robert. I'm Meredith, and here's your mail. Thanks. I'd better open this right away. Why? Oh, uh, what the... Eviction notice. Uh, do, do I get into his business? I don't know, because the other one didn't like me getting into the business. But you know what? It seems like a cutscene waiting to happen. doesn't sound good. That's what it sounds like. Bull crap. Freshly baked bull crap. Oh. Huh, do I still get into this business? Fuck Man, it. The sound can't be worse than the smell. I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. No problem. I I guess we're done, right? Return to the post office? Oh, I gotta drive this bitch all the way back. Alright, buzz. Well, I'm not going to give you guys a boring drive, so I'm going to cut back to when I'm at the post office. Alright, we're back at the post office. Oh. Clean up the car a little bit. End work day. Alright. Weiss Residence, Tuesday evening. Alright, I'm going to end it there, actually. So... That's the game. Seems pretty cool. Seems pretty vibey. I will continue it on. This is just episode one, obviously. But hey, if you guys want to change anything about how I play the game, if you want me to be more mean or more nice, whatever it is, put it in the comment below. So yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. Again, please like this video, comment what you want me to do, and subscribe for more content. And yeah, that's about it for today. See you in the next one. Have a great day. Have a great night. Have a great week. Love you. Bye.